What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the endeavors that did get announced earlier today. It's going to be something new coming with update 30 uh, this summer for the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm going to link all this information down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. But uh, it said as, a, as kind of a, a thing that's going to be a part of update 30 arriving in mid-June, so that's when update 30 will be launching, will be a new system called Endeavors. This is a free addition to the ESO Plus base game to all players. So any player can take advantage of this. It does not have to be with a certain DLC or, or you know update or anything like that. It's something you have to purchase. Um, new daily and weekly tasks called uh, called endeavors that will grant various rewards such as gold or experience and new currency called seals of the endeavor. The great thing about this, the seals of the endeavor will allow you to buy crown crate items from the current crown crates that are available in the game. So each crown crate that comes out uh, each you know month when they swap the crown crates out or each couple months when they do that, you'll be able to purchase items with these seals of the endeavor. You'll be able to purchase from everything from the most basic item within those crown crates to the most rare item, which of course is the Radiant Apex. So you will be able to purchase Radiant Apexes with these seals of the Endeavor. Now they did not go into great detail about how much these would cost just yet, but it pretty much said whenever you log in, you automatically receive various daily and weekly endeavors that allow you to complete different tasks. These tasks vary across different play styles. So it could be something, for example, kind of they gave uh, was a steal or pickpocket items. Complete quests, defeat enemies using class or weapon abilities, uh, sell items to vendors, craft different types of items, defeat different types of monsters, harvest resource nodes, and it says, and many more. So this is kind of a few examples that they gave. So the number of daily and weekly endeavors you can complete each day or week will vary. So be sure to check that uh, cap currently, or check what the cap currently is and work out which of the available endeavors you'll be able to take on. This is to ensure that everybody, regardless of their play style, has an opportunity to earn the new currency without having to complete activities they don't necessarily enjoy. Once you've reached the daily or weekly cap for the completed endeavors, the remaining ones are then deactivated. It says, when the day is over, the daily endeavors will reset with the new ones that will become available, of course, the next day. Same concept, when the weekly endeavors are over, they will reset You know, at the weekly recap as well. So pretty much how this is going to work is you're going to get, like I said, you're going to get these seals. They did not go into, like I said, how many seals you're going to have to have for each individual item. It says the seal value for each individual crown crate item differs. So depending on what you want to get, you might need to save up if you wish to acquire a uh, especially rare item. The interesting thing about this is it says there will not be a cap on the uh, seals. So like crowns or gems, seals of the Endeavor are not account based. Uh, currency and not specify are not specific to any other or any one character of course as like i said these seals are not capped so this makes me think that these seals are probably or these items like an a radiant apex are probably going to cost a lot of seals also it says if you get any item with the seals you cannot turn it uh, into crown gems then so every item you get with seals you'll then of course you know you have to keep it you can't take that item and then you know turn it into crown gems for something later so Whatever you buy, it'll be something that you're going to keep, you know, in your image or something you'll have to keep permanently. You know, it's not going to be something you can get rid of for crown gems or anything like that. But anyway, I thought this was pretty interesting. A new way to get, of course, Radiant Apexes again. I'm assuming they're probably going to keep the Radiant Apex in the crown store available for purchase when you have crown gems. They have not really detailed that. But now if that's the case, we'll have, you know, the chance of getting one out of a box if you buy boxes. You also have a chance to buy them with crown gems. And now you also have a chance to buy everything out of the crown crates with the seals of the endeavor. So I think this is a really cool thing that they're adding into the game. Something, you know, for people that maybe don't want to buy a lot of crown uh, crown crates. Maybe people can't afford them. Uh, you know, maybe not, they don't buy them all the time, but they do play the game a lot. And there's time from time to time, there's some things that you may like in certain crown crates. And the great thing is there's not a cap on these, so you can save them up. So it could be months down the road when you find something that you really want. You have enough crown, uh, you have enough of these Seal saved, you can go buy whatever you would like from the crown store out of those crown crates at that particular time. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with the 5% discount code, is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.